The Reserve Bank of India imposed restrictions on Paytm Payment Bank Limited due to persistent non-compliance and supervisory concerns found in the audit report. Starting February 29, Paytm Payment Bank Limited cannot accept deposit or top up in customer account balance or fast tags under Section 35A of the Banking Regulation Act 1949. The bank's nodal account with 197 Communications and Paytm Payment Service Limited are to be terminated by February 29. However, customers can still withdraw or use their balances without restrictions. The question stands how far is this aimed at? Hi everybody. The RBI's order on Paytm. The RBI is the Reserve Bank of India. It's the country's central bank. And it has delivered a big blow to Paytm. All pipeline transactions and nodal account settlement must be completed by March 15, 2024. The RBI's move affect Paytm's banking operation, but customers can still use Paytm for digital payments to external bank accounts. This development is expected to impact Paytm's stock price and operation. A key question that could provide valuable insights into the case is, what steps did Paytm Payment Bank Limited take to address the concerns raised by the RBI and work towards compliance with banking regulations? PVBR can address the concerns raised by the RBI and work towards compliance with banking regulation through several steps. Number one is internal compliance review. Paytm Payment Banks Limited can initiate a comprehensive internal review of its operational processes, policies and procedures. This review aims to meticulously scrutinize all aspects of the bank's activities, from customer onboarding to transaction processing, to identify any potential areas of non-compliance with the banking regulations outlined by the Reserve Bank of India. By conducting this review, PPBL can gain a deep understanding of the specific regulatory requirements and pinpoint areas where improvements or adjustments may be necessary to ensure full compliance. Number two is implementation of corrective measures. PPBL can swiftly implement a series of targeted corrective measures and remedial actions to address the compliance gaps and deficiencies identified through internal reviews and regulatory assessments. These corrective measures may include revising existing policies and procedures, enhancing internal controls and monitoring mechanisms, and implementing technology-driven solutions to strengthen compliance, oversight, and risk management capabilities. By proactively addressing compliance issues, PBBL demonstrates its dedication to upholding regulatory standards and safeguarding the interests of its customers and stakeholders. Number three is staff training and awareness. PPBL can prioritize staff training and awareness initiatives to ensure that all employees possess a thorough understanding of banking regulations, compliance obligations, and ethical standards governing their roles and responsibilities. Through targeted training programs, workshops, and ongoing education initiatives, PPBL can empower its workforce to recognize and address compliance challenges proactively, foster a culture of compliance consciousness, and uphold the highest standards of integrity and professionalism in all business activities. And number four is enhancement of compliance framework. PPBL can prioritize the enhancement of its compliance framework to establish a robust and a resilient regulatory compliance infrastructure. This involves investing in the development of comprehensive risk management systems, internal control mechanisms, and governance structures designed to promote adherence to regulatory requirements and mitigate compliance-related risk. By bolstering its compliance framework, PPPL can instill confidence among regulators, investors, and customers in its ability to operate in a compliant manner and navigate evolving regulatory landscapes effectively. Hope you liked the video. Let's unlock together your full potential and achieve remarkable success in the world of business. If you are new to the channel, do like, share and subscribe for more such content related to business and finance. Till then, goodbye everyone.